I don't agree that those idiots that went into the Capitol were there to subvert democracy. I think most of them were just a bunch of potheads that thought it was a big party to go crash the, the uh, Capitol. And I don't think that Trump sent them at all to go do that. Sure. Go but when he said, let's give, let's go, go to the Capitol and let's, you know, we got to so, use full, we got to show them strength. So that's fine. I could go to the Capitol, stand there right now, yell and scream and show strength. Doesn't mean I want to subvert democracy. Doesn't mean I want an insurrection. And the other thing is, how do you run as an insurrection with no weapons? Those idiots weren't going to take over the country. More MAGA logic. This time about the pod heads that ran up on the Capitol on January 6th for a party. I wonder what the rest of MAGA thinks of him insulting his brethren like that. Now, this is the same group that had just listened to Trump tell them that they have to take back the country, that the end of the United States is upon us if they let this happen. Well, not to mention the extensive evidence that shows a coordinated effort by Trump and his associates to literally subvert a legitimate election while his foot soldiers committed the violence. No MAGA supporter can speak for longer than a minute or so without a stark contradiction that somehow makes their crimes insignificant simply because they're MAGA. If I remember correctly, there was a group back in the 70s, some P Puerto Rican group, I believe, that actually set off bombs in the Capitol. Were they insurrectionists? Were they subverting democracy? And they were, they were prosecuted. Good, and they should have been. I don't think some of these guys that were in there just walking around aimlessly should be in jail for the rest of their life. That's bull crap. He remembered incorrectly, but that's fine. The only Puerto Rican group that attacked Congress was in 1954 when four assailants opened fire on representatives. One received a 50-year sentence, while the other three got 75 years. Oddly, though, their objective wasn't to overturn an election or hang the vice president for refusing to help overturn it. I guess those goals are admirable to MAGA. This can all be cleared up because David Schuster also spoke to one of those apparent pod heads at the Capitol, too. So what do you make of these criminal charges and uh, moving around to classified documents and trying to overthrow the election illegally? Well, for one, you're talking to someone there that was there on January 6th. He didn't try to overthrow the election, okay? What he tried to do was the legal way. And what actually happened was the staged coup that took place on January 6th so that they could take the electoral powers to actually certify the election. What Trump was trying to do was, was very legal. All these phony indictments is all going to bite the Democrats in the butt because it had to happen to Trump first. This is so that the American people can accept it for when Trump comes back and the revenge tour is going to be the sweetest. They can never hold back their actual objectives in supporting Trump. Here, it's so that the revenge tour can be the sweetest. Never ask himself what Donald Trump's political revenge tour will do for his bank account, his job security, his health care, housing costs, education, none of that. They represent Donald Trump, not the other way around. So this apparent pothead also has predictable theories about bad guys that were there with him as well while still he somehow found a way to say he had nothing to do with it. You mentioned you were there on January 6th. There's yes. some people who claim January 6th was Antifa or it Nancy was. Pelosi. How do you know that? Uh, I was there. I, I, I was right there at, uh, um, you know, right there on uh, front steps. I was part of the first group that was there. Um, I seen what was going on. I seen that everybody was standing there peacefully, you know, singing Amazing Grace. Once people got to the steps, that's where everybody was like, whoa, what is going on here? You know, everybody felt that. There was a group of like 30 to 40 people that walked around with megaphones that was screaming, this is your chance, fight for your freedom. You know, trying. Who were those people? I have no idea. I, I only knew the you know, five people I tra uh, traveled down here with, but. So you think that those people were either Nancy Pelosi or instigators or? I, oh, well, I mean, hasn't it come out that the, the, how many FBI informants were actually on the ground? How many Capitol Police officers, undercover cops were on the ground? Have you guys not seen the body cam? of the actual Capitol Police officer, Metropolitan the Police Officer, where he's climbing the scaffolding, encouraging people to, you know, keep moving forward. Yes, I do believe that was police and um, DC people that tried to encourage people, tried to get patriots that were upset about the, ele the election, which we had every right to be upset about, uh, 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 about the election. It, it was stolen. So last part here. In Upside Down World, the attack on the Capitol was for some reason carried out by the people that won so that they could certify the election, something that's been done regularly after an election since forever, until Trump's clueless army here tried to change it. What would be their what, what would be their advantage of trying to get people so riled up to commit violence and to get arrested? And what would the reason was is because with what happened on January 6th with the coup that happened, that was why they were able to shut the shut the whole the whole thing down 
then they came back at two o'clock and, and, re, and Nancy Pelosi was given those, you know, those powers and all that. And then that Mike Pence certified the election. Without that happening, Nancy Pelosi wouldn't have been able to take the actions that she took. 